Okay, great. Oh, wait, hello, hello, hello. Uh, I am so thrilled to show this film on so many levels. Um, but, you know, I was asking part of our staff and some of our programmers, how often have we seen on film uh, an authentic Asian American romance? Right? Really? Right? Uh, no, I mean, like, I mean, Asian American with an Asian American, right? As the principal story. And none of us could really think of any films as of late. So, I mean, it's refreshing, but it also says a little bit of something, doesn't it? And so we're so grateful that you did this beautiful film, Almost Perfect Bertha. And so I want to give you an opportunity to just talk about, you know, where you got the concept of the film um, and, you know, what was your inspiration? Well, thank you, Leanne, and thank you, S. Sadaf, is that how you call it? <laughs> San Diego Asian <laughs> Film Festival. And thank you all for uh, actually staying. It's really uh, phenomenal. Um, and uh, as far as um, inspiration goes, it's actually from a Mexican slash French family, was where I originally got the inspiration from. And it was after their wedding. Um, so, but, um, but yeah, I, I did, it, it was in the back of my mind that I love to make a movie just um, feels natural and organic about these two um, beautiful, sexy, funny, and majorly flawed people <laughs> um, having a romance and, and having certain obstacles. No, I'm sorry, Ivan wasn't flawed. Um, <laughs> um, and um, being able to conquer the obstacles that everyone can, hopefully everyone can relate to. Um, in order to, and I think in this case, the major, the biggest obstacle was not the family members, but the, the, the qualities within the protagonist herself. Um, but, uh, and, and conquer, hopefully conquer it, to, to um, enjoy and appreciate the love that was put on her doorstep. You, it must have been a daunting task to put together a cast like this. And so I wanted to ask, you know, a little bit, how in the world did you get the, this awesome cast together? I mean, uh, you know, sir, I mean, did you write for them? You know, did you have them in mind when you were writing the script? And then secondly, how did you bring this cast together? Yeah, it was really daunting. These guys are so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was kidding. <laughs> they turned my mic off. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, no, these these guys are absolutely amazing, as you can see. They're all sitting up here, and um, we. <laughs> um, <laughs> the only person that I honestly did write for in mind was Tina Chen because I had worked with her on Face. Um, <laughs> and um, my first movie. And, uh, and then um, all the other guys here, I just really, really got lucky. Um, our casting director was amazing and we had a lot of friends in between who were liaisoning. So um, Kelly, I got introduced to through our mutual friend, William Lee, who's also a great actor. Um, and we're just so thankful that Kelly said yes. Um, and uh, Kelly introduced us to Ivan and um, uh, to play her brother. <laughs> um, then, but then when the lead role became available, um, Ivan auditioned and just basically, you know, kicked butt. And, uh, <laughs> and then we met Edison through um, his managers and, you know, also incredibly fortunate that he said yes. And Christina, I actually went to high school with her. So, um, not so long ago. Yeah, not so long ago. Um, and so uh, I did partially um, after for the for the second half of the twenty drafts or however long, um, I did write with her in mind actually um, because she. I just think Christina is so funny and brilliant, and um, you know I just thought it would be fun to write something for her to do that's different from how she's normally um, playing on television or in films. Uh, Kelly, you were almost in every 
scene of this movie. You were all over. Scene. You were in every scene of this movie. <laughs> Which, again, for you must have been very daunting. So I wanted to ask you, compared to other roles that you've had, how does this compare? I mean, you're there on screen. I mean, that must have been um, a lot of work to prepare for. Um, so can you talk about how did you prepare for that and how did, how did this experience compare to previous roles? Um, this, this role was different for me because um, I'm not actually getting killed or having to kill anyone. And, <laughs> Not a lot of action involved, uh, so so it was um, it was a, a real challenge uh, because I was in every single scene of the of the movie, but um, to keep everything sort of in order and um, uh, to keep my thing, I know Bertha's laughing because she's. <laughs> I actually made index cards. <laughs> for every single scene and I wrote out notes on every single scene of where my character was in in the movie you know what uh, I had to I had I had planned it all out I, I sort of had to because there was really no downtime at all and um, you know Tina was actually kind enough to uh, coach me on weekends at her house uh, let me run lines <laughs> while her while her ama made us homemade dim sum <laughs> And um, yeah, so it was it was um, it was challenging, but it was it was awesome. I, 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 How did you and Ivan prepare for your on-screen chemistry? Can you talk about that? And Ivan, I'm going to give you a mic too. Um, uh, Late night uh, sessions uh, with the index cards. Uh, <laughs> um, no, no. This is working. Oh, here we go. Um, no, Kelly and I actually have known each other for. Uh, no, sorry. Um, we had known each other for what four or five years before this. We had worked together in the past. Book of Daniel. Yeah, and so we kind of already had this kind of friendship, and then it was in in like what Bertha was saying. In this, Kelly had pitched me for the younger brother, or because I always said that. We should play brother and sister. Yeah. Hello. Okay, there. I, I right. always thought that. that... <laughs> I, guess, I guess it's one at a time. Maybe we could do it without the mic. You go I first. Can hear us, right? Okay. So I always thought that he should play my brother someday, and so when I thought, when I heard that this was available, um, I pitched I him for the brother. But then Edison and, wanted to play yeah. the brother. And so, and yeah, so, you know, we had already known each other. And then so when I actually got the part of her love interest, we kind of just went, all right, we'll, we'll figure this out, right? <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go for it. And, and we, we, we rehearsed a bunch at her, her place. And, and we just kind of like, no, not like, no. Come on. But, uh, but uh, we, we just kind of, we just kind of uh, took it step by step and figured it out. And, and uh, I think Bertha was great about leading us along the way. Right? No? Yes? Maybe? It was, yeah. It was tough. <laughs> it was. It, it was. So, I hate her. So Edison wanted to originally be the, uh, the Ivan's character. And, who ended up, and he ended up being the brother, right? And for those who don't know, Edison is a very big deal in Asia, a huge pop star uh, in, in Hong Kong. Um, he is not only a singer, hip-hop artist, he's a model, record producer, fashion designer. In fact, are, are you wearing yourself right now? What? Are you wearing yourself? I mean, you um, design some, clothes, some it, yeah, right? I mean, it, so yeah. Edison does it all, and... Um, <laughs> But you know, so we, we've seen you in the big movies overseas, you know, Initial D, big Hong Kong films, and uh, you were also in some Hollywood productions here, uh, Dark Knight and The Grudge 2. So, and Infernal Affairs, of course. So I wanted to ask you, what was your experience, you know, working on this Asian American independent film? Um, you know, uh, working in Hong Kong, I think uh, the, the budgets, we, we kind of use every cent, so. Um, saying that this was a, a, a low budget movie to me was strange because it was maybe bigger budget than some of the movies that I had done. So um, when people were asking me how I felt, you know, being there, I was like, it's comfortable, you know, I was good, you know, uh, 12 hour days, you know, we, we, we got to rest. Uh, 
but working with this crew was really good. It's like um, we really kind of got to gel together and really uh, we like lived in the same building forever. We were chilling every day together. So, you know, it was a real good experience for me. And uh, Bertha is a really good director. Just gave us a lot of room to uh, kind of create our own character within the confines of the, the direction and the, the, the master plan that she had. So um, I feel blessed to have been a part of this movie. Do any of you, I wanted to ask, do any of you have a favorite scene, perhaps, that you that you guys um, shot in this movie? Anyone have any special scenes or anything that was really memorable? <laughs> They're all scared because I'm here. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, I mean, every scene that these guys are in are my favorite. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a good answer. <laughs> I really enjoyed working with Roger, who's not here. Um, wrong answer. Of death. <laughs> That's the wrong answer. You failed just then. I can't believe you said that. But no, seriously, that scene where I'm putting him to bed and he's spilling his heart about my mom, Again. it was beautiful. <laughs> Don't be hating. Hey. Um, no, but it, it was, it, it's true, um, that, uh, that scene when we were doing the, the, uh, the basketball scene, when he comes down and, and, and we invite him in oh, bed, yes. and, uh, and he's watching basketball for the first time with us. That was, uh, that was, uh, that, that was pretty hilarious. It was, it was tough to keep a straight face after that. Tina and Christina, we haven't heard from you. I was wondering if you guys had any, uh, favorite scenes or... Um, what, anything that you wanted to share? I don't know. I don't have a favorite scene. Mm -hmm. I um, wrong answer. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. I was in a handful, so but you know I enjoyed actually working at the um, house or, because I got to actually be with the family versus just working with Kelly, which uh, sounds bad. <laughs> I mean I do love working with Kelly, my sister, but I'm just saying, yeah, just the scenes of the house, I guess. In my case, I think. Uh, I, I liked all my scenes only because I played such a different character. So uh, trying to create something with, with this wonderful playing opposite to these wonderful uh, actors, it's a great joy. So um, doing a little bit of meanness or, or being sour or being this and that, uh, it, it was uh, a joy for me. So every scene. <laughs> Well, I mean, I've done characters where I was so scary that my my friend, my children's friends would ask them, is your mother really like that? <laughs> so this one, I, I really appreciated uh, going into a different character. And so every scene was, was a treasure for me. Oh, that's great. Do we have any questions from the audience? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Edison hasn't talked about his. Oh, oh. Bertha wants to know what your favorite scene was, Edison. <laughs> It, uh, it's their kissing scenes. I love those. Those are my favorite. <laughs> it's funny because Edison was like just off camera watching us the entire time. <laughs> so that's why. Hey, creepy. Do we have any questions? If you have any questions for the cast, now is the time to ask it. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Yes, right over here. Bertha, do you act? No. <laughs> Thanks for asking. I thought we could do that. I'm not taking anything away from Kelly. I thought it's done an exceptionally excellent job. Thank you. Uh, I thought maybe you could do that part. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> are you working on something right now? What are you working on next? Um, I'm actually in Taiwan working on a Taiwanese sports film right now. So. Oh. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Contractually, no. So, oh. <laughs> even though I don't know why it's so secretive, but uh -huh. it's a sports movie, and I think all good sports films, um, in it, historically, have been pretty much the same about underdogs conquering all. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. Why take the relationship so slowly? Um, usually, it's you know, I was kind of surprised there was there seemed to be a lack of like spark of passion, kind of just kind of progressed through this love. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I didn't 
Personally, I didn't think it was very slow, so I don't know. Let's hear from the lovers themselves. <laughs> I mean, what was what was the the breakdown of the actual days? It actually went really fast from the moment we we first see each other at the concert to moving in together was only a matter of a couple of months, not even less less than that. I think this and is a matter of percent. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? I mean, hopefully, I, I you know, I, you don't move in with somebody after only two months of dating them. I think it was that's like... what he's talking about. Stupid fast. Huh? I don't think that's what he's talking about. What, what is he talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what he's talking about? He's talking about the no on the couch. Oh, that was him saying no. Yeah, exactly. Ask Ivan the question. <laughs> and I'm sure every guy was like, that boy is stupid. <laughs> what does he do with saying no? <laughs> okay, from the writer's point of view, that would be me. Uh -huh. I think um, if you're asking about sex, yeah. I, oh, no. is that what you're asking about? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Let's hear it anyway. Yeah, let's hear it anyway. <laughs> that this guy has been there, done that enough times. And I think it doesn't, you know, any little boy can do it. But um, it takes a real man to be able to say no to such a beautiful girl, to wait and, um, and, uh, and want to develop other parts first. I respect that. I respect that. Oh, that was a loaded question. Do we have any more? <laughs> Can't see back there. Yes, over there. Yes. Yeah, where can I buy a costume? Oh, okay. So access to the film. So, what's the next steps for Almost Perfect distribution, DVDs, Netflix? Um, so we're gonna continue onwards to a few more film festivals. If you guys are interested in spreading the word, um, so we are going to be after this opening night film at the Vancouver Asian Film Festival and then closing night film at the Philly Asian Film Festival, and then opening night film at the Boston Asian Film Festival. Um, and then we have also been uh, confirmed uh, by our sales rep that we, uh, they would like to do a theatrical release for this movie in North America. So it will be a city by city release. So how many cities will depend on um, how each city does. So we could use all the grassroots help we can get. And, um, and hopefully it'll do well in enough cities and then the DVD will be released. So it'll be a while, but um, hopefully, you, thank you for asking that question. I guess that means you liked the movie. What? So sometime next year, you think, maybe? Theatrical? I think so. Okay, okay. Well, and so. we will definitely spread the word here in San Diego for sure. Any other questions back there? Yes, sir, in the middle. Four five day weeks, so twenty days altogether plus two more um, half days of B roll, which are scenes without the actors, which were much tougher to do. We had another question here. Some yes. Why did Edison's character? Um, why was he so afraid to talk to his wife or see his wife? Would you like to answer? That? No, it's right there. Hello. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sorry. You don't want to answer. Yeah. Really? Um, I think it's uh, afraid. I think my character is afraid of commitment and afraid of losing the commitment. And um, it's kind of if I see uh, my girlfriend then or my wife then. Everything kind of has to come to a foot stop, and then I have to make decisions after that. So I think that just putting it off is is just being lackadaisical and just being carefree and going day by day instead of thinking ahead. And uh, that's kind of that's kind of how I got it, right? Is that right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? Oh, over there, Lois. How about the fashions? Where did you find those from, and how did you come up with a name for her fashion house? Oh, that's a good question. That actually came from me. My um, girlfriend is Twee. Her line is called Twee. And uh, when I read the script, I realized that, you know we were doing a, a low-budget film, and I thought, how are they gonna do this, you know, high high fashion um, without a budget? 
and um, I thought of my girlfriend who lives in New York, who has a studio there and everything, and um, and she was generous enough to lend her name, her fashion. We even shot there on location. I mean, she she really did uh, so much for for our film. So um, so Christina actually kind of plays Tweet <laughs> in the film. That's a neat story. Yeah, I just want to quickly add that uh, my daughter's um, friend is also a designer, so uh, whose name is Lynn Devon, and so I, I wore some of her clothing as well. We have to wrap up pretty soon because there is another screening here um, of Almost Perfect, an encore screening because this was sold out. But can I briefly ask each one of you just to share what you're working on now so that we can follow your careers and support you in whatever way that we can? Um, uh, next week I'm actually going back to Hawaii to shoot a little film for a friend of mine, um, a, a role that was actually written for a linebacker size transvestite <laughs> bartender, and of course he thought of me. <laughs> um, I am actually uh, producing my first feature right now, and I started prep a week ago, so we will hear about that. I'm going to be directing something in 2012, a play, and then uh, I have, I'm developing a TV um, pilot and I have a lecture, it's coming out, it's called uh, The Legacy of My Chinese Family, which is about three generations of my mother's family and their contributions to Chinese history. Um, I'm doing a bit of this and a bit of that, so I'm just chilling. <laughs> um, I'm going to run a marathon in February. So if you guys hear about it, please support it. Thank you. What's the charity? Uh, China Youth Development Fund. Um, we're trying to make uh, sporting complexes in Western China so that the kids that have no place to play soccer and basketball and stuff have a place to uh, develop their athletic skills. Yeah. Uh, I'm writing a script right now, um, and the majority of it takes place in China. So, wow. yeah, T TBD. <laughs> Well, thank you all very much, Bertha, Kelly, Ivan, Tina, Edison, and Christina. Thank you all very much. Let's give them a round of applause.